I have something really cool to show you. Before I show you this thing, I have to say that one, I'm probably the most lucky person, and two, this is probably the coolest tech item I own, hands down. Okay, last box. As I said before, this is probably the coolest thing I own tech-wise, and this is something that goes with it that is so freaking awesome. I, I am just, I am so, I'm so lucky. I'm so blessed. When these came in the mail, by the way, I almost pooped myself. No joke. That was a joke, by the way, so if it wasn't funny, that that's probably why. So for anyone who's literate, this right here says Bamboo Lab X1 Series Combo. That's what it says. But if you don't know what this is, this is a 3D printer motherfucker. And this cute little guy right here is actually just a bunch of accessories that go with it. And I am very, very excited. Thank you, Bamboo Lab. This is f***ing ridiculous. I am actually so f***ing excited right now. Come on out, bitch. You're coming on out. Oh. This is one heavy freaking thing. Support for PLA and PETG filament. Nice. PLA basic and some white PLA basic. Holy mother of goodness gracious. This, I believe, is a hot end, like the nozzle. This is a filament swatch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different types of filament. And a new hotbed just because uh, people said online that they're, they're recommended, so uh, we got one. Also just wanted to say huge shout out to Bamboo Lab for doing this. Uh, you did not need to, but you did, and I really, really appreciate it. You took, a, you took a chance on a very, very small creator. I'm very excited to use this to do a bunch of different projects with it, and you guys are going to be able to see all of that. So make sure you're, uh, you're subscribed, okay? Okay, let's open this up. This feels nice. Like this feels good. Quick start guide. I'm definitely gonna need this because I'm stupid. <laughs> There's even more stuff in here. I should probably read the name. First off is this. This is the accessory box. Well, there's lots of stuff in here. There we go, ah, she comes right out. So now we've got it open and we basically are just gonna go in here now and remove some screws. Okay, so the two screws that were right here, boom and boom, those there, they are now removed. Okay, so now this front part here that's covered underneath the styrofoam, this has to come out. Lots and lots of styrofoam, which is very appreciated. This is mostly used when it comes to like multi-color printing, that way you don't have to go and switch the color for every single different filament that you wanna use. All right, so now I have to take out one, two, three, and then four screws there, and I'm assuming that's probably gonna be a fifth one we have to take out here in a second, but one, two, three, four. Okay, so I was actually mistaken. It's actually one, two, three, Four. There was a piece of plastic here or something, whatever. And there it comes out. That was this was on the bottom of the 3D printer. You gotta just take this piece off here. And over here, I just gotta get this little piece of plastic out. Also, I took a quick look in the box. So this right here is the spool holder. So this is gonna go on the back of the 3D printer so you can put a filament spool on it and then it just sits there basically. This right here is the touch screen and we're gonna put this on probably at some point in a little bit, but this is the touch screen right here. This is very obviously the power cord. This is some sort of like four pin to six pin connector thing and I'm not really sure what this is for. It kind of looks like a power supply but I'm honestly not too sure what I'm gonna use this for. For the sake of my own sanity, I have moved everything over to my kitchen table because I simply do not have the space to be able to film everything together. So now we're here. Okay, so I now need to unscrew a bolt here, here, and back there so I can unlock the hot bed. Now it says I have to pull this thing out about 50 millimeters, which is about five centimeters. Okay, now we're gonna insert this cable here into the screen interface. All right, that seemed like it went right in. So now I just push it in this way, and then over to the left, boom. So actually it turns out that these cables right here are exactly what I'm supposed to connect for the 3D printer into the AMS machine, which if you forgot what that is, it is this thing right here. So basically this cable needs to be installed on the back of the 3D printer and then I need to connect the AMS thing on top of it. So basically this just goes like this. Yeah, it just kind of sits on top like this, I guess. No, that's not right. Right, that can't be right. My bad, got the top right here. This is supposed to go on top. 
top. Now, this goes like this, basically. It kind of sits there. I love that the cables literally have the writing on them that say this end is up because some people like me are really stupid. I was, I was actually sitting here going like, do this, 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 this. And then I looked at the text and I was like, wow, look what happens when you read. This goes in here, that there. These are the same, so it doesn't matter which end it goes which. Yes! Okay, now that that's done, the setup essentially is done until we start printing. So now we're just gonna take off all of the protective wrapping, uh, starting now. Also, make sure to get these out before you use it. These are just little baggies of desiccant, I think, and they're just sitting in the back here. I'm pretty sure just to keep everything super, super dry. All right, we have a knife and we have the included PLA basic. So we're just gonna really quickly cut this open and uh, load it in. So basically, I'm just gonna be loading it into this one right here and then just basically pooling the uh, filament right into this little hole. First though, we're gonna connect the printer to the power. All right, this is the first boot screen. All right, so now I'm at the point here where it says it needs to calibrate the uh, heat bed and all that type of stuff. So I need to make sure that the heat bed is uh, completely unlocked. Okay, so it turns out this styrofoam right here, do not touch it, leave it in there, and we'll just continue on. So we'll go next. That says it may take several minutes. All right, so the calibration is complete. So let's just do a really quick run through through all of the calibration settings and just the settings on the 3D printer, just so you guys know. So this is basically what it looks like at the normal home screen. You have all of the different settings here, like the heat bed temperature, the nozzle temperature, the internal temperature, things like that. Uh, here, obviously network. Here is basically uh, where your storage is. So you have any, this is like internal storage. So these are just like little models that you can print like immediately when you get the printer. And then this right here is so you can load up these spool holders. So obviously we have the four, uh, one, two, three, four on my AMS there. So we have one, two, three, four that are empty right now. I don't have any of them filled. And then the spool holder also I think has one that's five total. All right, so it is now the next morning and I have a little bit of a plan. So my fiance wants a holder for her engagement ring, but unfortunately she doesn't have anything that she really, really likes, but she wants something that's nice and like just dainty and simple, neutral, that sort of thing. So this right here is a Thingiverse bunny uh, ring holder thingy. And basically it's just a little, it's just a little bunny and that's all it is. And I'm gonna print it off right now for her so she can put her ring right on top. And printing this is literally gonna be so easy. So we're just gonna go up here to slice plate. Then it will tell me how to make it. It says it's all good. Alrighty. But before we print, we're gonna load up a filament that I know that she's gonna like. There we go. Some beautiful iridescent pink and purple silk PLA. I mean, look how pretty that is. That is gonna be so freaking cool. So first, let's just open this up. Next, we just need to unravel the spool right here where the tape is uh, basically adhering to. I'm just gonna cut a very sharp edge like off of this so that they can get the tape right off. Now we're just gonna load it in and then we're gonna put it into this little hole right here. So all you have to do is basically just push this little tab inward so that it releases the trigger and then push this down in so that it gets, it feeds it in and then it will automatically start pulling it. Just like that. And now the printer notices the PLA right here and the color code and everything, so we're good to go. Now over here in Bamboo Studio, I'm gonna make sure that the filament being used is the one in my AMS, which is the PLA silk right here. And then it changes it to this like blue iridescent color. Now we go slice plate, slice okay, and we're good to go. And print. And now it gets to work. Bamboo Lab also has an app for their printers that essentially doubles as a user interface for changing filaments, stopping or starting prints, and watching your prints live from wherever you want. On top of that, they have a whole site dedicated to 3D print models, also known as STL files, that you can send directly to your printer from your phone. If you're on your PC, you can use the Bamboo Studio app to edit your models, change support types, and change the printer settings overall. And honestly, it's just an amazing app if you want anything to do with 3D modeling. You can also use other 3D modeling software too, like Cura, and Mesh Mixer to change and edit some of the 3D models you're working on. But the fact that all of this is with an in-house app like Bamboo Studio is absolutely mind-boggling to me. And just so you guys know how it turned out, this is the 3D printed rabbit ring holder that I printed off for my fiance. It looks absolutely fantastic. It's, the colors are awesome. Uh, and uh, most importantly, she loved it. I've also started making a bunch of other prints as well, like Black Panther masks and a Spider-Man mask. So if you want to see those videos, make sure to subscribe. Again, a humongous shout out to Bamboo Lab for sending this out. 
You have a special place in my heart and I appreciate you so much. And for anybody watching this video, I hope you have a great day and I hope you subscribe to see the next videos. Peace out guys.